Hello and welcome to the video for what is a child and parent? We're going to go ahead and whip up a quick example to show you in action what a child and parent is. If we right click, go to blueprint and create a new actor, we will name this our parent pickup. When we open this up in the top right corner, you'll see parent class of type actor. Since we created this blueprint based on the actor, the actor is the parent. All of the actor's values, such as actor tick, rendering, replication, are all brought in. And then we now have a new class, which is actually a child of actor called parent pickup. Now, let's say, for example, we wanted this to be a pickup where it will either harm or hurt the player. For simplicity's sake, we're simply going to print something to the screen. So we'll create a new function called print something. This print something will simply take a string and print out to the screen what we want it to. So we'll call this something. We will change this to string. We'll save this. And then we will do print string. And that's the end of that. For example, we're keeping this nice and simple. Now, in our viewport, we want to be able to see something. So we'll go ahead and add a cube. And for our base parent, let's change this to unlit white so we can see it. Now, print something is good. Event graph, let's use begin play and let's print something. Let's go ahead and print out, this is our parent. Now this could be initialization code. Maybe you want something to run on every single one of these, but for now, this is just simply what we're gonna do. If we add this to our scene and hit play, top left corner shows this is our parent. We're fine and dandy. But let's say, for example, we wanted to make a health pickup. We can click on our parent pickup with the right mouse button, create child blueprint class, and we'll name this child pickup health. When we open this up, we'll notice our white cube. And if we go into the event graph, we will notice under begin play, it says parent begin play. What this does is it calls our begin play and then immediately calls the begin play of the parent because maybe there's something we wanted to do. For our example, we will delete this as we do not need it. And we will call our own print something. Now you'll notice on the print something, as this is a function, it is not listed on our functions to the left but it is available to us and it says the target is the parent pickup. Well, it is inheriting this function from our parent pickup. On the left, you'll also notice it shows the scene root is inherited and the cube is inherited because we have a parent class, which it shows in the top right corner of parent pickup. Let's go ahead and do you have healed to full as a message when this shows on the screen. We'll go into our viewport. We will go to our cube and let's make this green to make it easier. Now, if we go back to our map and we drop a child pickup health in and hit play, you'll notice it says this is our parent and you have healed to full. Each of them is unique, but the child itself pulls in all of the values and the variables and the functions and the methods and everything from the parent and then allows us to configure the child how we want. Well, we made it green and we made it a different event begin play print something. You will find parents and children are handy when you have something you want to use as a base that you want to make a bunch of unique children out of, but you still want them all to do the same base thing. Good example as we used was our pickup. We could expand that maybe to sword. And in the base sword, you have things such as damage and maybe if it has fire effect and a particle effect and a static, static mesh. And you have a whole bunch of things that define the sword itself. But each child is a unique sword, which has different values, variables, meshes, and other unique settings.